Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Castello, Board Certified Family Practice, and today we're going to talk about poison ivy, poison oak, poison sumac, or dermatitis due to plant. So what happens is you're out in the woods and then you get poison ivy. It's an oil that's on the leaf of the plant, and the oil brushes against your skin, and it sits there until you take a shower and wash the oil off. You don't develop a rash sometimes for two or three days after the exposure, so it can be a little bit confusing as to when you actually got the exposure. You sometimes get a rash in different parts of the body over several days, and it really seems like you are spreading the rash from one place to the other, but it's not the case. What happens is, is you get oil on your arm, say, at 10 o'clock in the morning, and you get oil on your chest at noon, and you get oil on your face at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and then take a shower at 6 o'clock. The amount of time that the oil is on your skin, the amount of oil you actually have on your skin, and the sensitivity, so your face skin is more sensitive than the skin on the bottom of your foot, are all, all variables why you break out in the rash over a period of several days. So the blisters do not contain any oil, and you're not spreading it by scratching it even over several days. What happens is the oil sits on your skin, it's an irritant, it does not technically an allergic reaction. If you put battery acid on your skin, you would blister because it's an irritant, not because it's an allergic reaction. Likewise, if you had a burn, you're not going to spread the burn to other places on your body from scratching the burn, so it's not contagious. Now, the one exception to that would be is because it's an oil, if you brought the oil home, it was on the steering wheel of your car or it was on a pair of work gloves, um, you actually could come in contact later. So if you gardened one day and had oil on your garden gloves and then you put those gloves on a month later and you uh, were working on the car and then got poison ivy after working on the car, it's because the oil was on the gloves and it irritated your skin. Once you take a shower, the soap and water washes the oil off and the exposure is over. Uh, it's treated with steroid creams, steroid antibiotics, antihistamines, all you can get from the doctor, some of the treatments you can do over the counter. Uh, there's a soap you can use for poison ivy. It's not to treat the actual rash, it's to wash off the oil the day you had the exposure. So if you're camping and you want to bring this soap with you to shower with at the end of the day, you can. But once you have the actual rash, buying the poison ivy soap is not going to help you at all because it's not from the oil Today it's from the oil three days ago, so don't bother with the soap. Um, well documented that the wives of railroad workers used to get poison ivy, so the railroad worker would be walking up and down the rails during the day. He'd get poison ivy oil all over his overalls. He'd come home, throw them in the wash, and then the wife would gather up the wash and do the laundry, and then she'd get poison ivy even though she was never actually in contact with the plant. You can get poison ivy in private parts, so if you had poison ivy on your hands and you went to the bathroom and you put, you wiped yourself and now you got oil on your private parts, you can get rashes in areas where you also did not have contact with the plant, and that can be confusing as to how you'd get it underneath your clothes when you had clothes on during the day, and that's what happens. So poison ivy, poison oak, poison sumac, all very similar, generically known as contact dermatitis due to plant. It's an oil on the plant that gets on your skin. The longer it's on the skin, the more oil it's on the skin, and the more sensitive to the uh, oil the different parts of the body are, all variables that cause the rash to evolve even over several days. You're not spreading it from the liquid. There is no poison ivy or nothing contagious inside of the blisters, very similar to a burn. That fluid is not contagious and you wouldn't scratch a burn and then spread the burn someplace else. Treat it over the counter with Benadryl and antihistamines and topical steroid creams. Treat it very well at the doctor with steroid um, antibiotics. You do want to be careful if you're in the woods, don't wipe your eyes and you get blisters on your eyes. That could be potentially devastating. So um, summertime, be very particular, be very careful. The last two or three years, we've definitely seen more poison ivy, at least locally, and that may be due to wetter, cooler weather conditions. So we're seeing it in backyards and seeing it in places where we would normally not expect it to be. So um, after you're outside, just take a quick shower, soap and water. Um, make sure you throw your clothes in the laundry. If you come home and you've been in the car, wipe down the car seats and the steering wheel and the, and the uh, radio knobs with the wet wipes so you don't get the oil other places. Dr. Greg Castello, thanks.